The Republican uh, legislature is uh, now in the hands of free staters and extremists. It's not that your father's Republicans or your uncle's Republicans that we used to know. I used to be one of those Republicans. These people have an extreme agenda, as Grover Norquist put it, to reduce the government to such a size that it can drag it into the bathroom and dra drown it in the bathtub. If you want the state to prosper, you're going to have to finance education. I don't want to see a bunch of unemployable, ignorant students running around waving the guns you want them to have. Then they went to Concord, and what do we get? We got guns in the state house. We got votes for legislation to eliminate concealed carry permits. We got legislation to allow carrying loaded long guns, shotguns, rifles, crossbows in automobiles. We got laws, legislation to avoid federal regulation on anything produced in New Hampshire in the way of firearms. We get cuts in education. We get cuts in uh, public works. You want business to come here, and the first thing they see is the lights are out on the bridges at night. One of the comments we heard is that the legislature has been taken over by free staters. What nonsense. Absolute nonsense. The only thing the legislature has been taken over by is people who I like to think went down there and exhibited some common sense, rolled back some fees that never should have been increased, and have brought fiscal sanity back to our state. I hope the majority of voters in Wolfboro agree with that. I hope they send me and Chris and, and, and Jeb back because that's what we need there. We need common sense. On the social issue, we're not right-wing zealots at all. Not true. So again, I ask for your support and I ask for your vote. And again, I appreciate you listening to my little tirade here at the end. Thank you.